Hello, and welcome to your weekly juice, tips and advice on how to boost your confidence, conquer self-doubt, and keep you pumped all week. I'm Louisa Jewell, author of Wire Your Brain for Confidence, The Science of Conquering Self-Doubt, which will hit the bookstores on September 21st, 2017. I'm so excited. I reached out to ask, what causes you self-doubt? And this is what Carolyn had to say. When something negative happens at work or in my day-to-day life, I start to go into some heavy-duty negative thinking. Sometimes it can be so overwhelming, I can't get any work done or move on. It just makes me miserable the entire day. How do I stop those negative voices in my head? Well, Carolyn, if you want to maintain and build your confidence, what you say to yourself after a disappointment can be the single most important thing you do. I cannot impress upon you enough how important it is to conquer your negative thoughts. I'm going to share a technique with you that will change your life if you haven't been using this technique already. Now, I first learned this technique in a great book by David Burns called Feeling Good. And this technique is grounded in cognitive behavioral therapy, which is a common technique therapists use to help people think better thoughts. If you really struggle with negative thinking, get this book. It was hugely helpful for me. Now, I have modified this technique somewhat, so let me show you how I transform negative thinking into a more optimistic mindset. Now, I first want to say that having negative thoughts is not a bad thing. If something bad happens, it's natural for us to react. If someone is abusing us, it's appropriate for us to be angry. If our dog dies, it's appropriate uh, appropriate for us to feel sad. So feeling these feelings is natural and normal. It's when you get stuck in these thoughts and you just find yourself in a downward spiral that this technique can be helpful. Also, if you're just saying nasty things to yourself and calling yourself names, no good can come of that. So here's how you can transform negative thinking with three easy steps. The first step is to have awareness about your thoughts. You can't change your thinking until you know what it is you need to change. So for one week, just write down what you say to yourself when things do not go as planned. Just this one step can be eye-opening for some people. When I first started with this technique over 15 years ago, after I made a mistake or did something embarrassing, I would always say things like, you're such an idiot. So let's use this as an example. Now, number two, the next step is to challenge that negative thing you just said to yourself. When I became aware that I was calling myself names after I made a mistake, I recognized how unhelpful that was. It took me longer to get myself back on track and into a more positive space when I was just going off on a negative spiral. So I learned how to dispute these negative thoughts. So when I would catch myself saying, oh, you're such an idiot, I would stop and challenge it by saying, wait, are you an idiot? I mean, you have two university degrees and you're a pretty intelligent person. I wouldn't call you an idiot. Maybe you screwed up here and you made a mistake, but you're certainly not an idiot. Now, did you see what I did there? I was really just challenging this whole idea of calling myself an idiot. Now, this may take you some time to master. You've had these thinking patterns for years, so don't expect to just transform, transform overnight. And certainly do not beat yourself up if you're bad at this at first. Just keep trying until you have mastered it. You can do it. Now replace, the third step is to replace these negative words with a constructive response. So maybe you did make a mistake. Instead of calling yourself names, say to yourself, Hmm, well, that didn't go as planned. (laughs) What would I do differently next time? Learn from the experience. Ask yourself constructive questions so that you can learn from the experience and then move on. So there is a difference between beating yourself up and getting constructive. So let me recap. The first one is to become aware of what you are saying to yourself. The second step is to challenge those thoughts with more rational ways of thinking. And then the third is to replace those unproductive thoughts with constructive thoughts of how you can learn from the experience and move on. 
Now keep practicing this. It took me about a year before I mastered this technique. So be patient and be fiercely aware of what you're saying to yourself. When you have learned to master what you say to yourself after a fall, you will be transformed. Trust me. Now, I hope this tip was helpful, and if it was, please share this podcast with your friends. And for more tips on how you can boost your confidence, visit louisajewel.com and sign up for my newsletter, or you can purchase my new book, Wire Your Brain for Confidence, The Science of Conquering Self-Doubt on Amazon. I will be back next week with your weekly juice, and in the meantime, always, always believe in yourself and stay pumped. Now go kick some butt. We'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,